As moving day approaches, I am reminded that it hath been probably a year and a half, if not more, since I have shared my 200 scale model airliner collection with you, the viewing public. I'm also reminded that every time I move, I run the risk of destroying, murdering, or maiming one of my precious, precious toys. So it is imperative, for at least insurance purposes, that we make this video. Now let us begin. This is Boeing area. This is the area of Boeing. Now I need you to be aware of the Shadow Man. The Shadow Man shall be crossing through the shot soon. Don't look at him too closely. He'll steal your soul. We begin with the only 742 that I could get my hands on. It's this one. This is basically just a row of 737s from Classy to Next Gen, including Cat Vomit Brown. We have a Continental 727, a Corsair 753, a Delta 752 Dub, Citrus 737, Alaska 738 in a special livery. Of course, the Majesty Cargolux. This is still my favorite aircraft. I remember in my first video, I told you this was my favorite. Well, it remains. Delta 732. And, oh God, there's Shadow Man. See, that's what I was telling you about. There's also a spot on my lens, I think. Can you see the spot? Anyway. I'm going to try to breach around here, not get Shadow Man in your face, and look at Ermex go with the splits. So there it is. There's that. Then we got this, and there's Shadow Man. See, we got to get out of his way. Oh, I hate that guy. All right, Continental 753, Delta 738, Japan Airlines 744, and Japan Airlines 773. We definitely have something on our lips, don't we? And, of course, I'm sorry. We have a 739 BBJ and a 733 Colgate. Down here we have a little pocket of McDonald Douglas. Oh, don't look at him. It's Gemini uh, Delta MD-8H Radical. World Airways, or World Cargo rather. And NWA once again. Not the cool band, but the shitty livery. Shitty paint job. We've got some bad light going on here, don't we? Alright, well let's get over to the uh, upgrade rack. And oh, there. oh my god. The Shadow Man thing is funny at first when I first start playing it, but now I'm like getting annoyed with it. It's like the joke isn't funny anymore, but I feel like I need to keep it up. Okay, anyway, so that's my newest edition. North American 763, given to me by my buddy Travis. Upgrade 764. 772, upgrade 773. 752, upgrade 753. Bowling shoe, how cool is that, huh? I want it some focus, it's really cool. I'll back it out, how about that? Okay, no 200 scale model airliner collection video is complete without Airbus area, so this is mine. This is the side stick monster machine with NWA next to it. Not the cool NWA, you know, the ones with the N word, but the actual NWA with that shitty paint scheme. Here is Iberia A34600. I love it. Love that one. This one's been a victim of a previous move, as you can tell. Its landing gear is busted. Then, of course, the France lot, an A321 and an A33200. This is for Air France 447. Is there something on my lens? Oh well, let's let's disregard that and Shadow Man. There is something on my lens. God damn it! It's a freaking shit show. Anyway. To your shit show, so enjoy it. Here we have Sir France Lot Throwback A300B2. This is when it gets kind of random. It's not all Airbusy. This is uh, Tupolev, of course, T154 by Kubana. I don't know where in the hell or what category to place the Caravel in, so I just put it there. Canadians A340, or actually A34500. That's right. It's got the engines of the 600, but the fuselage length of the five. And then the shitty VC-10. This thing has just fallen apart. This is a JC Wings, I think. It was awesome when I got it, but all the probes have broken off. The wheels are fragile as fuck. And now it's just an eyesore. Going down, we have Delta DC-9. The Canadians and their A340-300. Reno Air MD-87. Alaska 739 without the winglets. Yet another victim. Yet another victim. Broken landing gear. Not dead, he's still usable. I just prefer the landing your shit. I need to set that up right. If these things aren't at a 45 degree angle precisely, I will go insane. 
girls who've gotten to know me well actually know that they'll come out here and they'll freaking move one like this and it'll drive me crazy it'll just drive me crazy i have to have it in line are we in line rituals ocd anyway back to reality here speedbird l1011 tristar 500 radical it's an expensive one then of course that shitty nwa paint scheme a33300 now prepare oneself not for shadow men but something very special it is the regional row beginning with mandarin airlines embraer 190 I think it's a Convair 540 or something, American Inner Island. The light's not too good in there. It's not letting me focus on it. Perhaps I'll back it out some. It's a Fokker 50. Freaking Fokker. ATR 42. ATR 72. I actually worked on this very ship number. If you can read it. Just have patience. It'll come. I think I'm in the wrong exposure. Fucking A. God damn it, how many times can a guy screw up a freaking 200 scale model airliner video, you know? Jesus H. Christ. Okay, it's November 643, Alpha Sierra. Anyway, okay, U.S. Airways old school paint scheme. Gotta love that with the Dash original. Then we have the Dash Q400, the Dornier 328J, and Kimo Sabe. How about that? Okay, one more, one more, one more. This is what I call merger row. It is U.S. Airways and American, and their merger into history. This is radical. Gemini 762, then a 734. It's a nice little EJ right there. Try not to expose Shadow Man here. He'll steal your soul. He really will. You don't want Shadow Man around. But back to merger row here. This is radical. We have another dash back now. U.S. Airways and the dark blue paint scheme, 752 without depth. U.S. Airways and the Hudson livery, out of focus, and 734. Oh, somebody's out of line. i got to fix this. That's still not right. You're not right either. You see? You see how crazy I am? So we're going to angle you from this side. You can see everything is shattered about and thrown around because of move. This is the only American new livery, Shiny McNaught So Shine 773, but we also have Fokker and Shiny McShine. The light is not the best in here, so I apologize, but I do bring you a Shiny McShine Mad Dog. This is Hogan Wings, actually. They made a die-cast version. I'm very concerned about my focus right now because the light is horrible. This is stupid. Anyway, there's uh, Shiny McShine 734, or I'm sorry, 738 without the dubs. 763 with the dubs, 721. Doesn't that sound funny to say? And of course, classic Shiny McShine, 752 dubs. Down here we have the poor victim. This is a victim of a female, not a move. It broke the uh, standoff in the hole. It's one thing all you young folk who are still dating need to be aware of. Girls who have had a few alcoholic beverages tend to run into these things or the shelves that contain them. So, just like moving, you need to be aware. Now this, this 787 is really a pile of shit. If I had some good firecrackers, I'd probably blow it up right now. These are two of moving's worst victims, or most affected. This one's dead. He is just dead. That's his coffin. It was once beautiful. The BAE 146, although it was in that shitty ass NWA livery, Pretty effing rad until the little engine thing came off. Without the engine, I can't even display it. See? What would you do? You gotta put him to bed. You gotta put him to rest. You gotta put him down. And then just come back and cry over his coffin every now and again. Now, this one I cry less about. And to be honest with you, I had totally forgotten about until I was unpacking, for packing, for moving. Here's we have a Delta side stick. Not that I really cared about the widget side stick A320, but he totally lost his wheel. I mean, I can't display that. Moving destroys these things. You all have to be careful. 